Hey Jumbo guys, well I'm here with my 2000 Subaru Impreza Outback. Here it is. And the problem now that I ran across is... Let me give it a quick start so I can show you. So when I start the car, the check engine light remains on. Like so. I have my brake, unbrake on, that's why that won't go off. My door is open, so that's that. But the check engine light won't go off. I went to Advanced Auto Parts for them to run the diagnostic and they told me that. This is what they told me. <laughs> that my idle air control valve is reading a problem and right here in this model is the top one right here this part looks like that um, I'm about to go ahead and take it out take it apart clean it with my mass airflow sensor cleaner and I will use some q-tips to get it cleaned up so let me get my toolbox I will use my trusty toolbox to get my tools that I will need to open these two bolts right here so it can come apart I've driven the car to go pick up the q-tips so it's kind of hot but let me go ahead and figure out which tools I can use and I'll be right back okay for my tools to fit in that right there I have used uh, this tool right here that connects to this let me put it right here that connects to that come on that will connect to this that connects to that that connects to this little thing right here so when they all go in let me put it I'm trying to use one hand So this part connects, goes in there, and that part goes in here, and this part, uh, let me put it, oh, come on, come on, there we go, this part goes in here, and this is what I use for leverage to get me a tire. Well, interesting fact, um, I did not know that the, um, what the hell is it called? The idle air control valve is cooled, is water cooled. So when I opened it up, a lot of coolant just started squirting everywhere. But that's a nice thing. So I'm gonna end up cleaning that. I've taken it out and plugged it. So I'm about to just take this off, clean it. That's how it looks in there. Uh, let me see. I'll just go ahead and clean it all up, then put it back in and see if it changes the check engine light. All right, it's off. You can see it's a bit gunky. Uh, let me go ahead and just wipe it uh, wipe it down uh, from the coolant. Uh, okay, like that. Come on, behave. Wipe that down. Let me look at it. Alright, let me put it aside because it's hot. That's hot. 
and go ahead and wipe this down. Let me take the, the gasket out. Nice and easy. Just like that. That's the gasket. Put it right there where I can find it. And clean this out. Clean that out real good. I don't know if I should go ahead and clean in there, but I will try. Okay, clean that out. Let me clean this. There we go. Go ahead and get the mass airflow sensor cleaner and douse this place. There. See all that gunk coming out. Hope that doesn't mess it mess things up. Where are my Q-tips? Let me take a Q-tip and go down here and clean this. Go ahead and just nice clean right there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, man, another squirt. Good clean. Oh, here's the flap they were talking about. That right there. All right. Let me do that. Now for the main event. Well, I follow Chris Fitz on his videos. Anything that has um, electric part, you hold it up. Do not get anything on this part. So I will spray some of this liquid while this is standing up like that just douse it down oh look at that oh my gosh that's nasty all right let me get my q-tip and go ahead and clean it. Let me clean it so I can use both hands and I'll get right back. I've uh, thoroughly, thoroughly cleaned it. And uh, if you can see, let me go to the light right here. It's looking way better than how it is. It was. So let me give it a few moments to dry up. Then I will install it. And I'm about to rub uh, few q-tips in there to make it clean up and I will reinstall it and give it a start and see if it clears the check engine light. guys have run into a problem uh, when taking out the uh, air control flow sensor gasket after a while it will expand due to the heating of the engine so this trying to put it back after cleaning it will be one hell of a problem so it was way big so what I did was just take bits of it and cut out some parts of it so that it will fit back this is a temporary fix I do not suggest this you never know what can happen to your engine but for me I really want to try and see if it will work I'm curious like that but if you're skeptical about it don't do it 
as of now it's fitting so let me go ahead and try and bolt it back in and uh, start the engine and see if the check engine light has gone away I have tightened down the bolts and uh, I guess if this doesn't work I need to replace the screws because they are really getting worn out on the top and uh, replace the gaskets again but for right now let me see if this actually works connect that and I will put back this clamp oh my gosh I need to replace that too huh well that's that's the cons of having an old car oh lord this thing is not going in oh man it's like really torn out now okay well oh my gosh let's see if this will even hold put the wires back that goes in here okay like that and this goes right there till it clicks in like that so that's all good and uh, let us see if it cranks up All right, moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Oh, let me go and see if anything is leaking. That doesn't look good. didn't work I guess I will have to do a whole week of work so I can buy the original part and put it in there like the way it's supposed to go oh uh, well that's all for the trial and error but hold on well yep something is leaking since I ended up trying to cut off the, the part see the coolant is leaking right there so that's not a good thing I needed to have bought the original part and put it in there watch yep so I will not drive this car for a whole week go make some money and I buy the original parts and put it back in because the check engine light has not gone away and I will go ahead and replace that hose which is leaking and we'll go from there. Thank you very much.